I really need to know how to start my videos. <laughs> Hello, um, a long time no talk. It's been a while since I pulled out the camera. As you read from the title of this video, it is another manga haul. And I showed you one at that. I decided I didn't want to do an unboxing because three reasons. One, I was moving. Two, I'm impatient. And three, well, you can look at the result of the last video. Ugh. Okay, so let's just get right into this video, I guess. Okay, so for the first series, I'm gonna let you guess. I thought that might be a little fun, but I'm gonna describe the series, not the actual story, what it's about. And now you're like, oh my gosh, why not? Because then it's obvious. I want to see if you could guess by like the number of volumes I say. So let's let's see. So it's a shoujo series, of course. This is a shoujo manga haul, and um, there's 13 volumes. The 13th one is a little bigger than the rest, and the titles are multicolored throughout the spines. Got your guess? It's My Little Monster. Yep, I got the whole series. My little monster. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you can see, 13 volumes. The 13th one is a little bigger than the rest. And yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. So yeah, I got this whole series of My Little Monster. Um, I've been wanting this series for a long time and so I finally just got up the courage to get it because I saw they were all in stock. Um, I haven't watched the anime. I only watched episode one and two, I think, but I think I want to read the manga because I think that the anime cuts the manga short or like goes like the manga covers more of the story after the anime is what I'm trying to say but anyways yeah the only thing is is <laughs> I don't know how to show this so volume one volume two volume three now let's see volume four for a second volume four has like a little thing wrong with the page Hopefully this is not a spoiler. If it is, it's as much as uh, for you for me. Um, but there's like a page that's longer than the rest. So it's like bent in. So I've never had that happen before, but it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I thought that was cool to show for some reason. Okay, volume four, volume five, volume six, seven, yeah, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Originally, um, I bought all this except eight and 11 and 12, but then they came in stock and then I just got them before September ended. So it could be included in my August and September haul. So yeah, that's the first series. So if you guessed that one right, you might guess the next one I got, cause this one's I think closely compared to My Little Monster a lot. It's a two volume series and it's complete. It is Beastmaster. This series, I actually didn't know it stopped at two volumes. I've heard of it, but I didn't know it was only two volumes. So after hearing that, I just got it. Why not? Um, but yeah, here's the description if anybody is interested. I think a lot of people got this story, this this story already in their collection. I'm just late. <laughs> okay, next I have Cross Dressing Villainess Cecilia Sylvie Volume Two. I was so hyped to get this. I loved Volume One, and I wanted to see like what happened next. So when Volume Two came, I got that like right away, and then I proceeded to read it right away. So yes. I've read it, I really love it. I can't wait for the third volume. It's it's really good, I really like it. Next is why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's mansion. I've been waiting so long for this one and then once I got it, I finally just like binge read it. It was so good. This is actually a manhwa, uh, which is like a Korean um, styled manga, I think. Um, and it reads right to left, so um, it's all in color as well. And yeah, 
I'm not complaining. It is so good, but it's a little on the pricey side since it's colored. But man, this story, I'm in love with this. I can't wait for volume two. This description really says it all. Like you read it, it, it that's how I would just describe the, the whole plot. I don't think I could add anything more. I do, like I have searched up the series and I think it has six volumes out in Korea. I could be wrong, but like I've seen a lot of like, um, like what's the word, like titles. And I think this would be like a six, maybe seven, eight volume series, but I'm not complaining, man. I really love this series. Uh, I recommend this to a friend and she loved it as well. Me and her really like Webtoon. So this just fit into the mix perfectly. I really love this story and I really recommend this if you like reincarnation or like villainesses. I don't think this is a villainess story, but it is a reincarnation and it's really good. So I do recommend it. Next I got My Next Life as a Villainess All Roots Lead to Doom. This series is actually what got me into like liking villainess as I think a lot of people as well. Um, but yeah, I really love this story. I actually did stop at volume five though. I haven't read six or seven, I'm pretty sure, because I remember it ending like really well. I think that was the closure to the first season in the anime, but I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. I have not watched the anime. So I decided to stop until more volumes come out because this takes a long time to like be released. So yeah, I'm not, not knowledged after volume five, so don't spoil it. But I really love this series and I totally recommend this and the sequel, My Next Life as a Villainess. Uh, what's the name? I'm trying to find it on my shelf. Oh, My Next Life as a Villainess on the Verge of Doom. That one is also really good. Okay, and next, let me go get it. Wow, I just realized that this series, oh, I'm just, yeah, I got Tomatown as a Girl, volume eight. But this series has a crease in it. Man, I've had this volume for so long, I didn't even realize that. Wow. I did buy it yellow though. Um, it was the only one on the shelf, but I took it because I think seven and eight is getting really hard to find because I, no, no, let me rephrase that. Uh, six and eight are getting really hard to find because I can't find six anywhere, but I can find seven and partially eight because there was only one left when I found it. And now I think it's sold out online. I don't know, <laughs> but I really love the series. I read up to volume five. I just need six to read seven and eight that I already own. So yeah. Next I got Those Not So Sweet Boys volume seven. Um, this is a classic series. If you like that Wolf Boys Mine and uh, Love and Focus, you're bound to like this one. It's by the same author. Um, this series, I think I've read up to volume five. I need to read six and now seven still. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the series. I think this is the last volume, but also online there says there's gonna be a volume eight, weirdly. That might just be an error online, but that's just weird. But this, I think, is the last volume, but I could be wrong because there is something online. No one has ever said that, or that might be just my bookstore just being wonky and just saying there's a volume eight when there is not. I'm giving no, no false hope. Don't, don't, don't say I'm giving anybody hope for a volume eight when there might not be. But anyways, so yep, that's Those Not So Sweet Boys. Next is volume five of Lovesick Ellie. Um, I still have to read volume four and then five. But I really like how this is looking on my shelf. I love like all the colors and I loving the story. But yeah, so classic Ellie volume five. Next is a two volume completed series uh, by Viz Shoujo Beat. I would let you guess with more hints, but I don't think this one's really well known. Um, so yeah, here it is. It's called Flower in a Storm. I believe this is not an age gap. I'm just gonna put that out there because I thought it was when I first saw it and I'm not the one to like leap at age gaps romances. So 
I, it wasn't like on my priority to buy, but once I found out it wasn't and it's only two volumes, I was like, sure, why not? Let me just buy it. And yeah, so Flower in a Storm. Um, I haven't read this yet. I plan to because it's only two volumes, but what's interesting is that it actually is real life pictures on the back. Um, it's probably because the series might be like a little on the old side, so maybe that's just how they used to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have like really old series, but yeah, uh, Flower in a Storm. Next is a series that I finally found volume two and three of, and it is Love of Kill. I think this series was featured in my first ever video and I only got volume one saying I couldn't find volume two. Well, I finally found volume two and three. What was funny is at my bookstore, um, I couldn't find volume two anywhere. Like the new one and the old one that I used to live at, it was just one and then it goes three, four, five, six, seven, and yeah, I think it goes to nine. But finally, volume two just came in restock, and then it was just like a bunch of volume twos, just two, 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 five. What? Where's three, four? So stupid me did not buy three, four because I wanted to buy two. Um, so when <laughs> when two came in stock, it was only two, so I just bought two, and I had to go to like a different bookstore to see if three was in stock, and it was. And so I just grabbed three, not four. I might make that mistake again, but um, I'm just gonna see how it goes because I would like to read the series before I collect more because it's like nine volumes long. This series is popular for its anime and that's why I got it because I chose to read the manga um, rather than the anime. I might make that mistake because people are saying the anime is really good, but yeah, I just decided to read the manga instead. But yeah. Next is a series and you can guess this one. It's actually a Jose series. It's not a shoujo series. Uh, it's seven volumes long. Each volume is multicolored. Um, it's a shoujo beat uh, volume series. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just me out. I don't know if you can hear that over the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you haven't guessed it, it is an incurable case of love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I really wanted the series for the longest time um, since it's only seven volumes and a lot of people say it's really good. I couldn't find volume one for the longest time until me and my friend went to a concert and we went because me and her are addicted to reading. So she just picked up Incurable Case of Love and just held it in her hand like it was nothing. And I'm like, how did you find that? <laughs> and little did I know that a few days later, volume one has been restocked. And so I bought the volume one she was holding and telling her <laughs> about the story. And then she's like, oh no, I want it. So when I came back to where I live from the concert, um, I found volume one as well in my bookstore. So I bought it for her. Um, so yeah, I really want the, to like complete the series, but now I got volume one, so now I gotta wait for two, three, four, five, and six to be restocked because I found seven at the same time I found her volume one. So now I gotta wait for volume two and three to be restocked because I want to read this series so bad, but I'm saying no until I have all of the series in my possession because it's very hard to collect the series. I just counted and in this haul I have like 16 series. That's just like wow. Um, I got volume 2 of Perfect World. I've had volume 1 in my possession for the longest time not buying volume 2 because I could never find it anywhere. Lo and behold just like Love of Kill 22222 was on the shelf. So I bought it. I don't think it has it's like in good condition but I really don't care. I found volume 2 and I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about this um, series because I have not read it. I'm really excited to collect more. I think it is complete with 12 volumes, but I could be wrong. I also forgot to say why I haven't read uh, one yet is because I was made aware that one to three end on cliffhangers. So I'm gonna buy one to four 
before I start reading the series. And that's it, so let's get on to the next volume, which is... It's Komomo Confissory. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I got this series, uh, it was all in stock, and I just heard of it, and it sounds really good. So if I do recall that basically she um, is part of like a rich family, and her family becomes poor, and then she has to move out or she gets kicked out of her home, something like that. And basically this boy used to be a chef in her like mansion that she used to live at, and he finds her and now uh, she basically lives with him and helps him at his bakery. I thought that story was cute enough for me to buy it. And they have like past instances where they fought, so they kind of like linger bad feelings towards each other, or I think at least he does. And so that's like the enemies to lovers part. And they're also like childhood, childhood, they know each other from childhood. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I have not started. Um, I got a lot on my TBR, so new series can wait. <laughs> so yeah. and. These like covers are really pretty. I think if I had to say um, which one's my favorite would have to be this one. I really like it. It gives, gives me like fresh fruit <laughs> vibes, obviously, because there's a lemon lime and an orange on it. But yep. Yeah. Next is Hi, I'm a Witch and My Crush Wants Me to Make a Love Potion. Um, I was gonna make a video of like volumes that I'm like looking forward to and this is gonna be in this list but it just got released and so I just bought it. Um, I was thinking that it was gonna be like a, a cinnamon roll like relationship but I don't think so because when I opened it up to the first page like because I like looking at the colored page it doesn't look like the cinnamon roll I thought it would be but who knows he's not the cinnamon roll yet. But, but yeah, so that's my, that's my guess of what the story might turn into, maybe. Okay, well, yeah, so that, that's what it's about. Um, I like, maybe uh, when they're like trying to make this potion, they will go like on an adventure to like find like the ingredients to this said potion and yeah, maybe he'll see like that she's such a cool witch or something. I I, I don't know. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> this video is getting a bit long. So next is the Apothecary Diaries, Volume Five and Six. I love these covers. They keep like they're like bam, 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 bam with all these like beautiful colors. Did I just say colors? Covers. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I haven't read five and six yet. I, I have read four, and like, I've had read up until four. Volume four made me cry. <laughs> um, that's all I remember. But yeah, I, I can't wait for volume five. But I did look at volume six and I think there's a cliffhanger. So maybe read volume five and wait for seven to come out because I'm really like, bad at waiting at cliffhangers. I will avoid it at all costs. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's Apothecary Vol Apothecary Vol 5 and 6. And last but not least, I have My Happy Marriage. Um, I have a funny story with this one is um, one day I went with my friends and I got this volume and I couldn't find it on the shelves. Like it was really hard to find. It was tucked in the way way corner in like a dark shady section and I didn't look, think to look there because I was just looking like broad at the middle but anyways so I took that volume and I put it out like this to show and um, the next day I actually went again by myself and uh, it was gone so whoever whoever got that volume enjoy it <laughs> so yeah uh, this is a new series. I hear a lot of people talking about the light novel. Um, not really into reading novels. I might take that back in a couple of minutes. But um, yeah, I just got the manga because um, I find to read mangas way faster. And if I have like a bunch of series, like 
that I bought right now and they're all light novels, I would take uh, forever <laughs> to finish. So yeah, that's volume one of My Happy Marriage. Now that ends my manga haul. You might be wondering, how come there's a lot of minutes still left in this video? Because I bought novels. So if you're uh, into novels, you can stay. If you were here for the manga, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in my next manga haul. Now starting with the novels. So um, I'm not really a novel reader like at all, like not even a bit. I didn't like reading as a kid and this manga addiction just got me uh, bound to liking novels sooner or later. So my friend, I asked her what she would like to be named and her name is Levy. She likes novels and so we kind of did an exchange one day when we went to a concert that I will buy a novel exchange for her buying some manga. And she's already liked manga, but she's never like fully committed to, hey, I'm just going to buy a uh, manga this t this visit. So I said, hey, buy a manga, I'll buy a novel. I'll buy a novel and try it out. Cause yeah, it, she was dying for me to read a novel. So I did, and guess who's addicted to novels? Kind of regret that, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so let me get into the novels. Um, if you're aware of like my shoujo taste, and a manga, yeah, just got carried over to novels. So let's get started. The first volume I, did I just call it a volume? The first novel I got, man, that's weird, is called From the God with Love. This one's really known for being like an enemies to lovers and I can see why. It's really good. It's done really well. It's like if you're gonna watch a K-drama, it's perfectly paced. Some people call it a slow burn. That's not a slow burn. Like, is, is this called a slow burn in, in the novel world, man? The slow burn in manga world is like completely different, <laughs> but literally is so good. The Enemies to Lover is done like really well. Um, my friend Levy uh, did not read this uh, volume and when I told her to get it, she got it and she read it and she's like, this is not a slow burn. So thankfully that's correct. Cause I'm like, that's not a slow burn. <laughs> I don't know what people are saying, but if you like perfect enemies to lovers, this is like the book to read. It is done to perfection. Um, here's the back if you would like to read it. The next series I got is Daughter of the Pirate King followed by Daughter of the Siren Queen. I just finished reading volume one and two of this series. It is so good, man. I'm sorry, but that beats Luke off with love by a long shot. It's so good. I love how people like call it a Lady Jack Sparrow. It is, it is like that. It really is. It is really good. <laughs> Here's the synopsis. I'm also very happy to announce that book three is actually coming out next November, but if you're worried about the wait, it's not too bad since book two ended really well. So if you're scared of like waiting, book two is like really fine. So you can just go ahead and read it and then read book three uh, when it comes out. For those who have read book one and two, I only have a little bit of knowledge about book three and I think that it's not going to be centered around the main couple, but the side couple, if you know what I mean. Now I'm just gonna speed things up since I got the ones um, that I had read over with. I got To Kill a Kingdom that I plan on reading soon. I'm actually reading a novel right now that I probably should have showed. Um, I got The Antidote. This series I could not find and once I found it, I thought someone ruined the, the, the novel, but I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know books could do that. Like the person who's, who uh, helped me find it said it's books do that. Like they do it for looks. It's it's really cool and it does fit with this, the thing of the, the plot of the story, I think. Um, but yeah, you're probably laughing at me because I'm so clueless. Next, I got Once Upon a Capron. Uh, Levy got this volume and she didn't want to read it alone. And since she got me into all this. I bought it as a thanks to her. Um, we have not read it yet. We plan to read A Happy Marriage. Sorry, my cat is rubbing up against the manga pile. Just gonna tip it. Say hello. 
Okay, so, yeah, so, uh, no, yeah, so I bought Once Upon a K-Prom, yes, I like K-pop, <laughs> I have a full playlist dedicated to all the K-pop songs that I like, and last but not least, I have, um, Midnight City, uh, I think this is a three novel series, um, two and three are, I think, hard to find, okay, come here, and yeah, so I need to find, uh, novels two and three um i think this is a enemies to lovers based like alien invasion story but yeah so you can read the back have i shown the back to the ones i think so just just pause it <laughs> Lastly, here's the book that I'm reading now called The Shadows Between Us. So here's what it's about. Editing Misa here. So I'm here to say that I finished this book so I can talk um, more better about it. So I would say this book is like not your typical like nice fluffy romance. It is really dark. Like I would describe it as like a villain's romance with like enemies to lovers in it so if you're interested in something like that then you should check it out and of course read the synopsis okay so that concludes my book haul i guess uh thank you so much for watching this video um if again if you have any recommendations i would be happy to hear them just dm me or you can comment it's fine by me and i'll see you around see ya